Okay, welcome back. So as promised, we're going to make a moving platform to make this game a little bit more interesting. So what's the first thing we're going to do? Probably guess, right click at new object and we're going to use a sprite. Insert that here. Uh, and then I'm going to use my little terrain thing, track in here. Um, I'll use this as my moving platform. So use a selection tool, zoom in by holding control on the mouse wheel select the oops, <laughs> select the part that I want uh, click the crop and I will crop it to that check the collision box look good okay so now I have this thing right uh, shift and drag and there you go that's our little uh, moving platform right here that we want to prefer make it like go like this I'm going to put it here for now so it's easy to see. Uh, yeah, put it right here. Okay, so first, since this is a platform, we need to make it uh, give it a behavior. Uh, but I want to try something new. So I want to be able to jump through it. So I will use this. A solid meaning I won't, I won't be able to jump through it just like these. But jump through means I can jump on top, jump through it like, like I can jump through it and land on it. So let's give that a try. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Oh, where did it go? Ah, okay. Remember how we added a UI layer for this and it moved with the player? So now the problem is that um, it's moving, so it's moving. It moved out of the way as I'm moving the player. So we need to change this back to the layer zero um yeah okay <laughs> okay anyway so remember to do that or else it will it will disappear hello right, here. welcome to platform world okay so i jump okay well it looks like it's too high but i can jump through it right uh and i'm just gonna make it a little bit lower Hello, welcome to Platform World. Okay, see, so I can jump through it and then uh, stand on it. Okay, so now I need to make it actually move. So how do we do that? Well, behavior, add new behavior, and go down to the movement. Well, these, like eight direction and platform, I have to actually control that myself. So we probably want a custom movement. Uh, so we can custom design it. Okay, so we need to program this now. Uh, well, we're going to go into the event sheet. Uh, and then in the beginning of the level, the start of the layout, add action, we want to move the moving platform. Which one it is? Oh, okay, I forgot to delete this one. <laughs> okay, delete this. So this one is actually sprite, so moving platform. Sorry, that was left over from before. Okay, so moving platform is here. Okay, so I'm going to at the beginning of a level or layout, I'm going to select the moving platform. I'm going to set its speed to 200 pixel per second. I want it to move to the right and then to the left and to the right. So right is, if you look at it, a compass, 0 degree is right, left is 180 degree, up is 90 and down is 270. So we want to move it uh, to 0 degree. So we go to the event sheet, uh, add the actions, moving platform. We want to set the custom angle of motion, set angle of motion to 0 degree and that will move it to the right. Okay, let's give that a try, see if that works. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Alright, it's World. working. Um, but the problem is just now it will just keep moving to the right and it will just keep going until it go out of the level and that's not very useful because we wanted to go back and forth. So, uh, how are we going to do that? 
I guess we need to add an object here for it to collide and then move it back and forth like that. So I'm going to right click, add a new object. I'm going to add a new sprite. Let's just put it somewhere. And this is just going to be a little icon to help, help tell it to move. So this little triangle telling it to move to the left. I'm going to put it here. Alright, once you hit this triangle, we'll move to the left. So this is called, so F2 to rename, move left. And we then, then that's it, the second one, to try to move to the right. So we can clone this and say move right. But I want to edit the animation because I want it to face the other direction. Like this. And put it right here. Alright. Maybe I'll make it a little bit higher. And then I'm gonna put the platform right here. So it will go like this, 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 this. Alright, so obviously we need to program this. Oh, and remember, we need to uh oh wait, is that zero layer zero? Great. So I guess if you select layer one, it will add everything in layer one. I mean sorry, yeah, layer UI, it will add everything in UI layer. If you select layer zero, it will add layer zero. So make sure to select layer zero or else it won't appear. Uh, okay, so we need to program this. When the moving bar, moving platform hit move left, it will go to the left. And when it hit move right, it will go to right. So we go to the event sheet and say, uh, add a new event. If the moving platform is in collision with move left, then the moving platform should set the custom angle of motion. What is left? Left is 180 degree. It's 180 degree. And then if the moving platform hit or uh, in collision with move right, then we should set the moving air platform's angle of motion zero degree. Zero degree is right. Let's give that a try, see if that works. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Alright, it works. Well, I guess it's another bounding collision box issue. It's, it start turning here, but um, do we want to fix that? Why not? Let's fix it. Okay, so we go to this. And then we go to animation. Let's look at the box crop that will automatically scale it. Okay, let's do it with this one. Crop. Okay, so now it should be better. Okay, but these two things are very ugly. Like, those are just to help us. So we want to hide them. How do we do that? So when you click on them, there is a, like, so you click on the object and then the booth right have a property called initially visible. Uncheck that and it should disappear. So uncheck both of them, play and see if it works. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Alright, the little arrow is not here. Let's see if it will turn it. Okay, alright, we're good. Let's see if I have time to jump on. Ah! Okay, well, I'll wait for the next one. Come on, come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try this again. Uh, okay, I made it. Alright. Okay. <laughs> uh, so with this moving platform, we can make the level a little bit more complicated. So why don't you give it a try? I'll be right back. Alright, uh, I'm back. So uh, I had made this level a little bit more complicated. So we just go through this. Well, okay, let's move him our little frog guy. Well, okay, why don't we move him up so it's a little bit easier to uh, select him. Um, so yeah, let's click this, and we're gonna change his Z elevation to one. That means he's like on top of other things. So we, when you click this, you can select him. This is zero, and this is one. Okay, it's a little bit. It's one level above this, like. Background. Well, we can actually make this like negative one. Ah, no, I guess we can't do that. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, because the background, the extra background is negative one, so 
Uh, how do we get it back? Okay, we'll change this back to zero. All right, I guess that don't work. How about one? Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Never mind. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, okay. So basically, we just go through this. Hop, hop, hop. Go through this moving platform. Hop over here. Go to this moving platform. Hop here. Move this moving platform, and then we go to the finish line. All right. Let's save this and give this a try. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Alright, let's see if I get to this this time. Yes! Okay. Alright, see, I'm just riding in platform collecting to pineapple. Alright. Okay, alright. <laughs> Barely made it. Okay, I got it. All right, so now they move to this moving platform. Ah. All right, and we you, you completed the level. Okay, well, I don't good have job. a next level to go you to. Completed the level. So, um, good job. You completed okay, yeah, the level. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so do this, and then um, I guess we'll um, make a finish screen for this game. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.